everyone I hope that you are all doing well today we are doing something a little bit different which I'm very excited about low res bones created this challenge recently to build a realistic starter house in a survival world his video is really good and it's really fun so I'll link it below there are a lot of videos and a lot of tutorials on YouTube around building starter houses but the question is what is realistic or even possible to build for a very early game house in survival mode we're about to find out because I'm giving myself just three Minecraft days to gather supplies in a new Minecraft world and then use them to build a house. I'm excited to see what we can come up with so let's get into it. As you just saw we spawned in this jungle here and I managed to make a crafting table and a pickaxe. Let's get some of the stone. I can hear something. I think there's scary things below me. <gasps> coal! Well we're getting the coal. Perfect. And we'll get enough stone as well to make some tools to start out. I am not about the wood tools life. In fact, let's just do that right now. An axe, shovel, and a sword. Let's get a couple of torches going and explore this little hole here. Oh, I hear mobs. I'm scared. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, we are not dealing with that right now. That is the creeper's hole. We can find another hole. It's fine. I'm not totally sure what will be good for building, so I'm just going to take a little bit of everything. Oh, and food. I'm so focused on building that I'm forgetting that we need to eat. Early game fish. And there's some cows over here, so I guess we'll get you guys as well. Sorry. Oh, pretty flowers. Oh, and I'll get you. And while I'm waiting for this beef to cook, I think I'm going to go over here and grab some birch wood. My idea for this house involves birch wood and I'm hoping for dark oak, otherwise maybe spruce. So at some point we'll need to move on and do a bit of adventuring. We'll see what biomes we come across. Wait, it's sunset and I'm already lost. Oh wait, here's the swamp. Oh, that was a little bit of a panic moment. <gasps> you know what I want? Clay. Flower pots. Alright, we can pack up our stuff and spend the night mining. I'm hoping that overnight I'll be able to find some iron and make some shears. But we can also collect as much- oh, iron! Okay, that happened really quickly. And then we just need to collect as much cobble as we can, because I think that'll be a good building supply too. Okay, day two is upon us. Oh, hello. I'm gonna just continue the grind of chopping trees down, and then we'll move on to exploring. Oh, I'll take these flowers. Oh, and wait, 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 wait. Before we leave the swamp, I want some of these. These are going to be great for mossy cobble. I think that's enough vines, so now it's time for an adventure. Let's see what's over here. More things to kill, apparently. <gasps> a bee! A bee, a bee, a bee! And some horses! I'm not going to kill you, of course. Oh, look, it's a dark oak forest. This is perfect. Okay, uh, I'm going to set up nearby here. Where should we put our stuff? Maybe like here? Is this the vibe? I feel like this is the vibe. Oh my gosh, and it's nearly sunset again. Okay, I hate that. Let's make a little chest and put our things in the chest. And then we can start chopping some of these dark oak trees. At this rate, all the iron I've found is going to have to go to axes because we need a lot more wood. This is starting to feel like a speedrun, except I'm just collecting blocks. Oh look, the forest is on fire. Perfect. That is not what we want. Oh, 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 and all the mobs are out. I feel like I should make an effort to stay awake tonight because I really need to gather wood, but it's kind of going to be difficult. This isn't too bad. Mostly scared of creepers. Okay, I think I changed my mind. We need to get in a hole. And we're going back to peaceful strip mining. Ooh, copper. I probably won't need this, but also, why not? And this is day three, meaning that it's our last day to collect supplies. So I'm going to be really boring and use most of the day to just chop trees. Chop trees? Chop trees. A few moments later. Just kidding, apparently I can't resist flowers, so. And so when the sun sets tonight, I think that'll be our cutoff point. So we'll check what supplies we have and then build a house with them. It's honestly kind of difficult to judge how much you'll need. I hope we have enough. Oh, oh the lag! <laughs> that creeper just yeeted itself towards me with that lag there. 
That was absolute nightmare fuel and I've just thought of one last thing that I'd like to do. I need my stuff. And how do you make a stone cutter again? Oh, I can make it. That'll be really good in maximizing resources. And day three is ending, but I'm actually feeling pretty good about how much stuff we have. So now I'm gonna set the time today because we've finished collecting items and the next phase is building. First, let's take a look at what we've got. There's two chests here. I'm planning on building a kind of base layer with cobble and mossy cobble and stone. And then most of the house will be made of birch and dark oak. Plus, because it's me, I got a lot of things for decorating. We have some flowers. We have some clay, I think. Yeah, bricks. And I thought we could use the water bucket to make a little pond outside the house. And we can add lily pads and leaves and it should be cute. Now we just need to figure out where we're gonna build. I think I do like this area just in front of the pond or whatever this is, but we could also go for over here a little bit. Like somewhere over here, whoa. Mm, nah, I think we will just build where our stuff is. We can cover up our little safety hole and do it right here. I'm thinking we don't wanna start off too big in case we run out of blocks. So maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. I think we'll start off with this size and we'll make it pretty tall but then if we still have extra blocks we can make like a bit coming out the side. But we also have to do the interior so I don't know. Anyway, let's get building. Now that we have four walls and a roof, we just have to decorate. So if we come inside, there's three levels to this. This one's very small, so I'm not sure how we use it, but we can go upstairs. And we have this slightly bigger area up here. I think I'll put the bed here. But we've also got an underground room, which I thought would be good for storage. These are all the supplies we have left. We're getting pretty low on wood. I have four birch logs left. Let's grab some stuff and start decorating the top floor. Oh, we have some wool. We can turn that into carpets. Hmm. Let's start by dyeing the bed. We can use the blue orchids to make it light blue. Beautiful. Then maybe the stair for a bed head. And some bedside tables. With a pot plant on one. And we'll remove this ugly torch and put a lantern on this one. We can have another little table over here like this. And then I wonder if I can make a copper stair. I can. I don't even know what to use this for. I just don't want everything to be dark oak. A chair? Eh. Uh, maybe we use some trapdoors up here to be shelving. The desk can have another pot plant here. And I had this light gray wool, so maybe that can be a little rug. And lastly for up here, we can make a pot plant. This middle floor is the entrance and I think it can be mostly decorative. In this corner we'll have a plant box, like so and a little copper table here. Let's also add a painting in. That one is huge. There we go. Our final room to decorate is down here in the basement. And I want this to be quite practical. So we'll have a wall of furnaces, some more chests, and we'll fix this ugly dirt wall since we still have a few pieces of birch. Please be enough. Yes. Oh, I wonder if a painting would fit here. No, not that one. Why are these all either giant or ugly? We can add a couple of final details and then it will be done. And we actually managed to use up most of our building blocks. Pretty much all the wood is gone. So this is pretty much what you can make from playing three days of Minecraft. I haven't really showed the front yet, but we made this nice little pond area with the lily pads that we got from the swamp. I also managed to collect quite a few flowers to put around. And this is how the side and the back is looking. 
I couldn't resist though, I did do one little cheat of something that I didn't get in three days and it's the mushroom back here. I grew this just because I thought it'll look so cute next to my house, especially for the thumbnail. But technically I didn't cheat on making the house after three days because it has nothing to do with the house. So we're good, right? And there's also this on that note, but I just really like mushrooms. Leave me alone. Anyway, we can go inside. And we have this pretty basic entrance. Then upstairs is the bedroom. I added an armor stand, but it's a little bit sad because I only have boots so far. Then if we head down here, we have our storage. Honestly, this is where a lot of my wood went. It's kind of small, but good for a starter house. And because it's underground, it's very easy to expand. At least I think it's practical enough for me. I would use this. And that is this challenge complete. I had a lot of fun with this, so please let me know if you like it. And I could potentially do this kind of thing, but in modded. I haven't really made any modded content, but I kind of like to. Anyway, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and a comment. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye